Pisces, welcome to Karina Star Tarot. This is your July tarot reading. Please bear in mind that this is a general slash love tarot reading. So take what resonates for you and leave what doesn't. If this reading doesn't resonate for you, then check out your moon, Venus and rising signs in some of my other readings. Also, if you're interested in getting a private reading from me, then you can do so by clicking on the link in the description box directly below this video. And just a quick reminder to you all, please don't forget to hit the like button, share this video and subscribe to my channel. Especially subscribe to my channel. I would love to get more Pisces energy into my channel. And also Pisces, thank you for all your support last month. It's greatly appreciated. So I'm going to jump straight into your reading. I'm going to use the Everyday Witch for your ma main reading. And I'm going to clarify where I feel it's necessary using the Radiant Rider Waite Tarot deck. So the first card out for you is the Queen of Swords. Then we have the Justice card, which is the Major Arcana card. You could be dealing with a Libra because this is Libra energy. So remember the major arcana cards, they carry the dominant energies within a reading. That's why I say you could be dealing with Libra. Then we've got the Ace of Swords. The Four of Pentacles. The Strength card, which is a major arcana card. This is Leo energy. got the king of wands the three of swords the hierophant another major arcana card you could be dealing with taurus the ten of cups And the Empress, which is Taurus slash Libra energy. So you could be dealing with Taurus. It's quite strong. Taurus, Libra, Leo, or Leo. Wait, what was it? Leo, Taurus, or Libra. Okay, so that they're your main cards that are out for you. So I'm going to look at your first card and you have the Queen of Swords so the Queen of Swords this is all about using that sword as a means of clarity so someone may be gaining some clarity it could also be about communicating either you're receiving a communication or someone's communicating with you but you could be communicating to someone, um, cutting someone out of your life, people or things that no longer serve your greater good. And the Queen of Swords is not afraid to say what she feels or thinks. It's not afraid to take that action necessary. Once your mind's made up, I feel. And then we've got the Justice card. So the Justice... This is all about getting what you deserve, getting that fair treatment. You know, um, you want to find that balance in your life. You want to close this cycle down, I feel, and get a fair outcome for yourself. Could be about karma being served. You know, um, for some, you could be involved in illegal matters, such as a divorce. Um, it, it can also indicate that there may be a need for you to just let things play out as they will, you know. But I'm going to clarify some of the cards on the top deck once I've spoken about them. Then we've got the Ace of Swords, another card of communication I definitely feel that you are 
beginning to come to a lot of realisation about this situation. I feel that you're beginning to accept the truth. And I feel that when you do start doing that, it kind of gives you a strength. It makes you bold and brings back, I think, a little bit of that spirit within you, I think. But yeah, this is a kind of communication. So you could be communicating how you feel to someone. Someone could be communicating how they feel towards you. I definitely feel that you're cutting someone out with the Four of Pentacles here. Um, this is someone who is not being open with you who lacks the ability to communicate with you properly, is holding on to things or holding things inside, uh, is not expressing themselves. Maybe this person has been intentionally holding back from you. But I do feel that there is a sense here that the, the communication between both of you has been very tense and difficult for you because I feel that this person hasn't been very vocal towards you and I, I get a sense that they're purposely holding back on you as well here this is, and I feel that you're cutting this person out of your life so like I said I'm going to clarify some of the cards in the top deck I think I'm going to start with the Justice card. I'm going to clarify the Justice card for you. Okay, so the Justice card is clarified by the Nine of Swords. And the High Priestess. I'm also going to clarify the Four of Pentacles for you as well before I talk about the additional meanings of these cards. Okay, so that's clarified by the Ten of Swords. I'll get one more clarifier out for that as well. And the Ace of Wands. Okay, so clarifying the Justice card, we have the High Priestess and the Nine of Swords. So with the High Priestess, um, this situation definitely, without a doubt, has been keeping you up at night. You haven't been able to really sleep very well lately. It, you've been going over things in your head, perhaps even overthinking the situation but I think it's come to a point where you just can't take it anymore I, I believe that you just want to close this down now or have some sort of if it's not answers that you seek you you just want to close it out I feel because you want to get that balance back in your life you know you with a high priestess, um, this is all about looking deep within, looking and listening to your intuition, having that self-awareness, um, following your inner voice, um, you know, trying to get that balance and that fair treatment that you deserve, that balance and justice. And I think you're really good at figuring people out. I think that you've got to trust in that inner voice, in your intuition, and follow your intuition. And then clarifying the Four of Pentacles, we have the Ten of Swords. So yeah, you feel really stabbed in the back by this person, there's no doubt. Um, really betrayed by this person the way they 
treating you, communicating with you, um, or their lack or inability to communicate properly with you. Um, you get the feeling here, I think, even though I think some of you definitely don't know for sure, but like this person has betrayed you in some way. It could be a third party involved for some of you, but I feel that even if there isn't, it's just this general way this person is behaving towards you and treating you is is just really breaking your heart. But I feel that this person is actually going to be very sorry about their actions. Um, they, they, they're going to change their mind and suddenly realise what they've done. Because I see here with the Ace of Wands, an apology. Um, it might be too little, too late for you, but I definitely see an apology coming in, a sudden realisation that this person's having, that they suddenly don't want to re uh, lose you, but it might be too late in the day. You know, they've, they've gone so far with this, they've, they've pushed you too far, you know, and it might be too late, I feel. And then you've got the strength card here. So, yeah, I feel that you are trying to be strong in in this situation to not allow it to get you into such a state that you fall into a deep depression um you know you're you're trying really hard to get over this and move on i feel i'm actually going to clarify um the strength card for you Okay, so that's clarified by the Page of Cups. So, yeah, the Page of Cups, this could be love coming in, but this can also be about an extra turn in the Page of Cups. And looking at the card that before it, the clarifier of the Ace of Wands, I would say this is related to an extra turn in. I think you're trying to stay strong. I don't think you want to have this person back in your life but this person's coming back in and still coming back in as a page I might add um, and you're staying strong and trying to resist the urge to take this person back because nothing has ever been resolved this person you know it's just gone too far pushed you too far hurt you hurt your feelings too much and I just feel like you you're not interested so next we have the king of wands and I'm going to clarify the king of wands here as well for you for because I want to find out what that's about because yeah the king of wands is a card of action definitely um but I'm going to clarify the meaning behind this card for you. Okay, so that's clarified by the Knight of Pentacles. I'm going to get another clarifier out for you. Oh, and the Knight of Cups. Okay. So I think that you, a lot of you, even if you're not in this situation, there's love coming in. This is new love. This is what this is about. The King of Wands is some someone new coming into you. Those of you that are single, split up with someone. This is someone totally new coming in for you. Someone who's very emotionally stable, I might add. Well adjusted. Um, definitely financially secure, without a doubt. Um, very family orientated, very loyal and loving and caring. It's not someone that makes foolish decisions or takes stupid risks. Someone who's very cautious, weighs things up very carefully before making their move. And, and this is the person I feel that you're, that's coming in for you, definitely. They're coming in offering that cup of love, for sure. You've got new love coming in. 
Pisces. <laughs> Definitely. I, I, and it's very refreshing. It's so different um, to the person that you've just cut out of your life. So next we have the Three of Swords, and this definitely needs clarifying, because the Three of Swords, this can talk about you needing to regroup, recuperate, you know, restore your energy, restore your balance. This could be to do with healing this past situation for you, uh, but I'm going to clarify it anyway for you, because I feel it's necessary. Okay, so... That's clarified by the Four of Pentacles. Get one more out. And the Three of Swords. Okay. Yeah, I did touch upon the fact that you need to rest and heal and recuperate. And these two cards clarifying this definitely confirms that for me. Because you're still holding on to this situation here. For some of you, it could be a very kind of recent fresh situation that you're trying to heal from you know it's you're still holding on to all this pain and this hurt that this person's put you through very much still heartbroken trying to mend that broken heart trying to get that balance back in your life you may not be ready some of you may not i'm saying some of you may not be ready for this new love that's coming in just yet but there's a lot of you that are single out there that are definitely going to be ready for this love. But for some of you who are just getting over the pain and separation uh, of, of this situation here may need more time to get over this for sure because you're really holding on. But there's a need for you to let go of this and release it so that you can move on. You've already, I think some of you definitely already made up your mind that and stay strong you you are not going to accept this person back in your life so you know you need to obviously you you might need some time to heal and then you've got the hierophant and i'm definitely going to clarify this card for you the hierophant uh this is a kind of high level of commitment of marriage some of you in a committed relationship already you might your relationship might be ascending to a high level of commitment such as um, uh, being engaged getting married um, but I'm going to clarify this card for you anyway because um, it's coming up right where because of where it's coming up for you in this reading yeah okay so that's clarified by the sun beautiful okay I'm gonna get a further clarifier out for it it's also clarified by the fool yeah I'm going to get another one out because I feel that I want more information temperance as well it's clarified by temperance so the fool that's Aquarius energy the sun is Leo energy and temperance is Sagittarius energy. So you could be dealing with any of those. Leo, Aquarius or Sagittarius. One more. Oh, and the chariot. So it's clarified by four major arcana cards. So the chariot is Cancer energy. So Leo, Aquarius, Sagittarius and Cancer energy. I think that's definitely enough clarifiers. Um, so these are cards all clarify the hierophant here. So... Whatever this is for some of you, I definitely see if this new love, this is someone that definitely wants down the line will want a higher level of commitment. Some of you may be getting that within a relationship already, but it's going to bring you a lot of happiness. This person will bring love and light and joy into your life without a doubt. And with the full also clarifying it, this is a brand new start. It's, you know, you may feel a bit hesitant. Some of you, if you're getting out of a really bad, toxic kind of relationship here. But it's worth the risk, I think. Maybe this is temperance. This person will bring balance into your life. Um... I mean, temperance is a card of balance and healing, 
you know, finding your centre. I, I feel with this person, you're going to feel that way. Um, they might even also, especially those of you coming out of this relationship, they might even help you get past this. You know, I've, there's a sense of tranquility and balance with this person. And I see with the chariot here, I think you will move forward on this. Those of you that are single and ready for love, there's no doubt about it. They're, they're ready to move forward with this. The new person that's coming in, you are as well. Exciting. It's exciting. It's fresh. It's new. Um, you're determined to move forward. So, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. And then we round it off with two great cards here, which I don't need to clarify. The Ten of Cups. Couldn't ask for better. So, this situation definitely could lead to a higher level of commitment. There could be a family down the line. It's joy, happiness, fulfillment, even self-fulfillment for some of you, even if, if you're not interested in a relationship. This is happiness, all round happiness. And the Empress, this is about love, being cared for, or care, being caring, having that loyalty, being surrounded by people you love. There's growth all around. There's happiness. Um, for some of you, there could be a pregnancy on the cards in the future. Um, this has the potential to grow into something absolutely beautiful and fantastic. And they definitely see you as their empress. And <laughs> what a good match you would make as well. So... I think that ended up being a really great reading for you, Pisces. Absolutely beautiful there. So I'm going to get you out some Love Island cards. See what they have to add to your reading. Okay, so you've got mask. Not showing true feelings, hiding personality, pretending and gaslighting. Yeah, this is in regards to the person uh, I think that a lot of you have been having problems with. They've been wearing a mask, you know, they've not really been, they've been hiding their feelings, not showing their true feelings. And there's probably been a bit of gaslighting going on. They've got sunglasses, watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, focusing out. So some of them could have been, could be watching you, you know, stalking you. Watch out for that. Seeing if you're available so they can come back into your life. Got the sword and the rose this is about having clarity truth yeah belongs up here you're getting that truth about this situation without a doubt got the chaser yeah your ex is definitely going to chase you because they're definitely going to regret their actions towards you but it's probably a too little too late you've got a heart with a key welcoming love meeting the one opening your art getting together perfect definitely to do with new love here New love, like I said, is coming in. You've got healthy choices, but making healthy choices in love and in life, having self-love, self-care, being happier. And I think this is what's happening in this situation here. Um, and then we've got palm tree. Stability, security, performance, growth in endurance and flexibility. So definitely, I feel that you're going to have this with this new person, definitely. Without a doubt, so I'm going to put that there. Okay, so I'm going to get you out some romance angels. Okay, so you've got romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Yeah, definitely a lot of romantic feelings here. This new love. You've got deception. Someone is wearing a false mask. Yeah. This belongs up here with this ex of yours. Definitely been wearing a mask for sure, and that really confirms it. Got new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Yeah, like I said, new love is absolutely without a doubt coming in for a lot of you Pisces. Double confirmation there. Got true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. So whoever this is, it's coming in. It's the romance of a life lifetime. Something you've been 
wanting for so long. I've got a wedding. This situation involves a marriage. Like I said, yeah, I just sense that. <laughs> you've got you've got um the hierophant, so yeah, it could lead to a ma marriage ultimately for a lot of you. So I'm put that there. Okay, beautiful. Um, so now I'm going to get you out some Souls Journey cards to wrap this up for you. Okay, so you've got adversity. I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. So yeah, there's some challenges here, but I feel that you're going to get over these challenges. You are going to learn from these experiences. And you will eventually be able to move on once you've healed those wounds. You will move on. So I'll put that there actually at the top. I've been honest with that a lot. Right, then we've got honesty. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. Yeah, I feel you are having in truth or to yourself finally about this situation and doing what's right for you, cutting out what no longer serves your greater good for sure got purpose i know what i am here to do yeah you've got a purpose in life you've got direction in life if you haven't if you haven't got it at the moment you are you know what you want to do you know how to move forward you've got more strength than you realize pisces we've got success i know that there is no greater goal than love yeah so this definitely this this situation here with this new love it's definitely going to be very successful for you. Let me put that there. That's beautiful for you, I think. And I'm going to leave it, leave it there. I was going to leave it there, but then I saw the next card and I can't resist getting it out because it is the death card. I'm learning that endings are merely new beginnings. So as one cycle ends, another one opens. And this is a far better cycle that's opening for you. So I'm going to put that there. Because I feel it's quite relevant. So that was your reading Pisces. Before you go, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Good luck to all of you and I'll see you all soon. Bye.